Hi, it's Faceless Tech. This is definitely the year of the redo projects. Um, you know, since everyone's been in lockdown, stuff is just a nightmare to get ordered. I'm waiting like a month for PCBs to come in, which used to take like 15 days. Um, so I thought I would um, kind of add a bit of a brainwave and thought I know I'll strip an old project to make a new project, which is this, which is a pair of sunglasses with uh, a WS2812 strip of LEDs around the top of it. I don't know why you'd want this, because um, it's kind of like an oxymoron, because you have the sunglasses, but it's kind of something that you'd wear at night. Um, but I had this project, which was the project that originally spawned my smart glasses, uh, different projects, which was basically two rings of uh, WS2812s uh, in the front, which was ridiculous, but it kind of um, was a proof of concept to see if it could actually fit electronics in a pair of sunglasses. As you can see where the battery went here and then I had the um, electronics over the side. So I basically stripped them of all the other parts, uh, which was this uh, PCB and the battery. But as before, I had the battery on one side uh, and the PCB on the other side because I was limited by the like the width of the arm, um, which is a bit of a pain because I had to run the, the battery wire all the way around. Um, but on this side, I decided to try and like, beef up the sides a bit. Uh, made like a little holster sort of uh, just clips on because before I'd basically cut that away and use um, uh, heat shrink tubing but of course with this uh, heat shrink I couldn't obviously cover these LEDs with a uh, heat shrink tubing so I kind of um, did that but also this means that I can't really fold them so they are kind of a bit of a lie of a pair of sunglasses you can kind of you can't really fold them you kind of just wear them on your head but they do they do bend because of the um, uh, flexibility of the uh, strip. They do actually go around the corners and somehow, magically, I've got four LEDs per side, which obviously if you had um, the uh, more denser LED strips, you could get more on there, but um, it's just got the same, literally the same code as before uh, you put it on. It's got four different modes. Um, and then it's got a pair of dip switches here four different dip switches uh, for different modes you could actually in theory uh, if you use binary you could have a lot a lot more um, different things but I'm just lazy and I just had four because it's code this uh, is just a white strip for some reason it does not want to I think it's because of um, the DC uh, boost or the battery can't give enough power because it's on the white it's basically all the LED, all three LEDs are on so it just does not like the white ones. I thought it'd be quite good because when you, if you wore them and you're kind of looking around, they would um, kind of light up the stuff. But obviously the sunglass lenses kind of like detract from that. But yeah, it's just a bit of a fun project really. I just used uh, M M3 uh, bolts for the hinges, which work out quite well. Uh, and the lenses, which was it was kind of like the uh, make or break of this project, which I have basically took a pair of. Uh, oh, Primark sunglasses, which is a really cheap clothes shop in the UK. Uh, there's like literally a pound for a pair of sunglasses. I took the lenses out, took a photo of them on a high contrast white background, took that into GIMP, uh, did the uh, magnetic trace tool to get a rough outline of the thing, exported that, and then imported it into um, Inkscape. Uh, I sized it to the correct size-ish. Uh, as you can see, I had three goes of it. Um, and then I basically used that because you can export to paths um, for OpenSCAD, opened up OpenSCAD, load, um, then saved it as a uh, STL, and then imported it into um, FreeCAD, which is what I use. Um, what I did was I had one that was the exact same size as the sunglasses, so the friction fitted in. And then on the front, I had a slightly uh, smaller size, so that, obviously, because you want them to press against something, uh, and then I had the uh, thickness, which was to allow for the LEDs um, and this, that, and the other. Um, and then that was basically it. Just had the strip at the top, had the channel. It's like a channel. They're not actually stuck in, so they can just slide it in, slide it in and out as you wish. Um, and that's it. Use a bit of hot glue to keep the wires in place. It's pretty much it. Um, obviously, there'd be uh, design. You can actually design, download these design files if you've got these exact sunglasses. But um, if you use the same technique, 
um, went through all the different stages. You could, I could practically make any pair of sunglasses. Also, you could use it to make any um, type of lenses. You want like I had the idea of making like lenses, maybe with like fake eyes in them or whatever. It was like a bit of a Halloween prank or whatever you could do. Or if you wanted to sleep in a meeting. But yeah, uh, as usual, blog post with probably more information uh, with the schematics and that kind of uh, stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.